Wow. Never thought I'd own this big of a barn. This thing is massive. Whew. Now all we gotta do is get some milk cows in here. Ooh, let's get to it. So we got a few loads of uh, Holsteins coming for us. We're gonna put them in and start bed them down and get them to milk them ready as soon as possible. But first, we need to cut some more grass down. Uh, I got a lot of grass to cut down and I got a lot more mouse to feed around here. Speaking of mouths to feed, I forgot to feed Buck. There you go, Buck. So, we're gonna go get our 4440, get that on the mower. I believe my cousin's gonna come by. Um, I'm gonna put her on it. Where'd I leave the 4440? Oh, shoot. I left it behind our harvester. Oh, man. Gotta start this up just to get the 4440 out. It is a hot one again today. 95 degrees. Not gonna be fun for my cousin cutting grass. Glad I don't have to do it all. There we go. All this just to back up this 4440. Yep, starts up. So if you didn't watch the last series, we bought a giant dairy barn in a feedlot. We went all in. Whew! I'm feeling the stress because that is a lot of money to put on me. So I need to create as much food as possible. If you don't know my last two attempts for pretty much fails. So I need to uh, do it better than what I have been. Put this up there. PTO. Alright. We will sh... I'm gonna keep that running because I'm going to run down there and do the inros for her just so she has an easier time with it. Gotta back this up again. Still way too hot to start harvesting. There we go. Alright, we'll shut that off. If you didn't know, I bought a Versatile. I'm not too crazy about it right now been looking around possibly at purchasing another 7100 over here. Alright, so let's get this thing to our field. Looks like we should just mow our yard and we'd be good, right? Man, that barn is big. So I'm going to start mowing this, and then hopefully uh, I went down the wrong way. This is our scenic tour here. And this is the way we should have went. Our uh, cattle seem like they are hungry or something. They certainly are. I'm thinking I should just, uh, no use wasting this ground right here. Don't think I can mow it all, but maybe some of it. All right, so I just finished that up there. Now I gotta unfold this. Start mowing around here. I'm gonna mow as much as this as possible. Try to get a good crop this time. It, you didn't watch last time. I basically screwed that up big time. I screwed the pooch. Could have did way better. So my plan is to 
mow this all down as best as possible. Uh, try to bail it right away. It isn't supposed to rain here anytime soon, so I'm hoping I get a uh, get a good opportunity basically to get as much as this as possible. here to our crazy beet farmer over here. Eat cray cray. That mower seems like when it's not completely balanced doesn't cut very well if you can see that. Leaving a little bit there. Gonna have to it's that uh basically uh it rides that cutter bar is nice and flat when it rides up on the mounds it just misses all the grass oh well this is a lot of ins and out of these trees you gotta go around them all so a little bit hard for my uh, cousin to be able to do this but I think she'll do alright once she gets the hang of it here we go got this uh, basically I guess this is a old wind stop something like that tell from the years and years of uh, the wind blowing it blew up all that dirt and everything and piled it up don't see that every day but it looks uh, it works pretty good for uh, when I put cattle out over here all right so I think I'm gonna do one more pass just so she has an easy time going around here this isn't the widest mower, so luckily we can go about 13 miles an hour. Disc vines are nice because you can speed with them as long as you can stay in the seat in the field. Our uh, soybeans over here sure are uh, goldening up. They look like they are freaking super ready to yield high, hopefully. Soybeans look are sure goldening up, so they have a ton of pods on them so I think our yield this year is going to be a bumper crop we will see how it all turns out once we get to that right now I'm worried about having enough feed for the cattle So we're just gonna leave it right there until my cousin comes. She can finish this off. Got a little bit done there. Kind of made a mess of this area right here. While we're walking up, I'm gonna walk through. See how my mothers are doing over here. Oh, whoa. I'm in your way. I'm sorry. Wow, they, they don't care about me, that's for sure. Let me get out of your guys' way. Hey there. Check the water. Definitely got to make sure these cattle have water because these pumps aren't working correctly. So another thing I have to do, I got to get bedding down for the cattle. Don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, I don't have any straw ready to cut. So I'll probably have to go purchase some straw, get that down. Ah, oh, man. Ah, ow, that hurt my arm. Whew. Gotta get this alternator in here. Oh, yep. I can see my cousin finally getting here. Don't worry, you're just an hour late. 
Man, these country girls. All right, I'll get over here, greet her, make sure because she drives up here so quick. I want to get make sure Buck doesn't get ran over. Stay over there, Buck. All right. What? See what I tell you? What did I tell you? Like a maniac. All right. So we're just. I'm gonna drive my cousin down here, get her started on this cutter bar here. This thing is a little zippy. It'll get you, knock you right out of this seat. I'll wear your seatbelt on this thing. All right, so here we go. We'll just leave it right here. There she goes. doing too shabby you can uh, take more of a swath there So while she is mowing that, I have a lead on a possible semi and semi-trailer, so I would like to get something other than just my truck for trucking around stuff or hauling grain around. I think uh, we basically will get put behind because we can't have enough grain capacity with this, that truck. So my plan is to, plan is to basically go look at it. Hopefully go find it. Alright Buck, get out of the way. Don't need a flattened buck, that's for sure. Christmas trees are looking good. So we're going to start headed that way. Got a lot of corn over there. Jim's corn does look good. Man. Got some good looking corn over there. Got some beans there too. Jim definitely got a lot of acres. It's going to be tough. He said that he most likely will uh, hire us on to do some custom work for him. So we might just work as a team. He'll come help me uh, get my grain out. And, uh, I guess I will have to help him throughout his harvest. So I think this is, yep, we're coming up on it right here. So, uh, this will be it. I guess that's the truck right there. Not too bad looking of a truck, to be honest. Whew. It's a good looking old school truck. So it's kind of small, but that's what we're looking for. We didn't want nothing big. So I'm... Digging the blue, definitely digging the blue. It is a day cab. Peterbilt, what is this? Uh, Peterbilt 179. And a Wilson Pup Trailer. It's like a Wilson Singer hop, Single Hopper Trailer, so that, that looks nice. I think this won't be a bad uh, combination. Wonder how much he is asking for this. We'll go see. So he wants 55000 for the pair. Hmm. Not a bad deal. I'm going to have to go borrow money. I think I'm going to try to test drive it first. Wow, the inside of the cab looks nice, that's for sure. I 
do like the day cabs, just how small they are. Make sure all the gauges work. Uh, definitely got to make sure this thing uh, airs up properly. And I'll sit and see if I can hear any leaks. I don't want to have to deal with a uh, air leak for 55,000. I'm not hearing any leaks. Let's see how good, how high our air pressure is. Uh, it's still building up. Uh, temperature's running good. Huh. This ain't that bad of a truck. Definitely got a little zip in it. Yeah. Let's see if all the mirrors work good. See how good it builds up. We don't have any uh, compression loss. Mm. This thing runs like a dream. Almost sounds brand new. This won't be a bad truck. I think we're going to try to purchase this. But I'm going to have to go borrow the money from the banker again. Got to stop borrowing money. First we buy a humongous uh, dairy farm. Gonna have to see the banker anyways because I'm gonna need money for our uh, purchasing our cattle. Purchasing our Holstein cattle. So not a huge ordeal. I think I'll just take this to the bank. Means it's not too far. It's just past the dealership. And then I can show it to them and have the title and everything. And I'll drive it back there quickly. Alright, we're going to pull on to the bank. Alright, $105,000 more in the debt. Going to have to go pay the guy quickly for this truck. I know this is a big purchase, but we just can't keep up with that. Just that little big uh, lift truck. So... Wonder how this guy turns around in his yard. I think I'll just leave it up around here. Might be kind of hard turning this truck back around. All right, so fifty-five thousand. I didn't even try to jew them really, so it wasn't worth it for me. So it's a pretty good, sharp-looking truck. You can tell he took care of it. But we'll take this truck back, and I guess I'll have to get the cousin, my cousin, to give me a ride back. Oh man, the suspension ain't good in this truck, though. Man, I feel like I'm bouncing all over the place here. Whew! I think it's bumpy in the cab. Man, that barn is just gigantic. I might have uh, chewed off more than what I can handle getting that thing. Alright, now so now we got it back here where we're gonna park it. That's a good question. Uh, I think I'll just park it behind uh, my truck. So next item to business is I need to go get that truck and fill it up with some straw so I can give bedding to the cattle. I'm just going to go to a neighbor and uh, hopefully he's got it ground or straw, loose straw so he can give to me. So we are extremely fortunate for that. Alright so I just came down here to help her start their next field so she's taking off. Not too, doing too bad right now. Got this field mowed, so I'm going to have to go get some straw and then uh, hopefully come back and start raking that. Maybe I can catch her? I don't know. That is the plan, as long as everything else goes good. Alright, we're just pulling out of our neighbor here. Got another load of straw. Man, I'm going to have to owe him. I've gotten straw from him twice. He, def he has a pig farm, so he definitely deals with a lot of straw. 
which uh, works out for us. I'm just going to have to figure out some way to pay him back. But I'm going to put this in both the, kind of put it around the feedlot and then uh, put it definitely in my big uh, cattle barn. Need some straw for the other cattle. I think I'm just going to pitchfork this straw out like the old days. Alright, let's get in here. Alright, gotta fork this over the fence. Yeah. Uh. 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 Man, we gotta find a better way of doing this. Alright, so I think I got it spread out. Looks like I need to get the bobcat in here and actually uh, get that manure out of here. Alright, so now that I got the straw, so I'm gonna go get and start raking here. Get this hooked up to the rake. Boy, hopefully in a day or so I can start bailing that. Not get a huge loss this time. Alright, I'm done making a mess right there. All I felt like I was doing, I got a little dizzy turning around that much. Unfold this. Kind of nice we have a hydraulic one so we don't have to go out there and manually get it into position. Alright, start taking off. Do two rows here pretty easy. There's my cousin. She's going good. So I don't know if I'll rake both fields. I just want to make sure I at least rake one so I can hopefully bail it here soon. Might have her wait, rake it tomorrow or something. Yeah, she's cutting that nicely over there. Uh, I'm hoping I get more than two bales this time around, so I'm not going to feed a big barn like that with only two bales. That's for sure. I barely see my cousin over there through the hedge rows here. She looks like she's still doing her headland passes. Oh, no. She's going up and down now. No way we're going to catch her now. She's definitely going to finish before us. You believe it? We beat her. She's been taking a while to do them headland runs. I don't know why she isn't just going around that field. Would have worked way easier just to go around it and do them short row headland passes, but oh well. I'm going to park this over here and run back and uh, get ready for them uh, load of cattle coming. Yep, so we definitely got more yield off of these uh, wind rows, so got a lot more volume to them, so hay is already kind of dry, so this might this might work out for us, so, which is good because the last one was a fail. Don't worry, I'm trying my hardest. I'll get you hay. Alright, so I'm going to head to the auction. I got to get to the auction to hopefully buy a whole bunch of milk cows. That is the plan anyway, so we'll see. Hopefully I can get a bunch of them. I want to hopefully get hundred milk cows but I don't know if I can get them all right now I might have to settle for less we will see how much I'm able to get though can't believe we just moved here less than a year ago and I'm already per buying a brand new big milk barn and now I'm purchasing uh, dairy cattle don't I know that you can't make no money in, d in dairy I must be crazy. Running by Jim's over here. So I'm surprised he hasn't bugged us lately trying to get us to do some work. He's always trying to get us to do something. Alright. I think the auction's up here. Yep. Let's see a bunch of cattle trucks already. Uh, Winter Hawks Auction. We'll run in here and see if we can purchase some cattle. Man, do you ever feel like you're way too early for something? Where's everyone at? 
I thought there was supposed to be an auction. Alright, so we did it. We purchased 60 cattle. We still owe the, the auction place a little bit of money. Uh, we probably overdid our uh, spin limit there, but uh, they look like 60 good uh, heads, so I figured uh, we just as well uh, seal the deal on it. I'm sure the banker would be mad at me for that. Uh, now we're gonna go back and uh, so now we're gonna go back and I need to call around to a couple uh, uh, hauling uh, companies to see if they will uh, possibly haul them back to the farmyard so I don't have to truck them all back. Turn it over here. Oh shoot! You're supposed to come bring me back to my truck. Oh man. Man, can't find good help anywhere. We're gonna head over here and hopefully we can get a few trucks right away and uh, get them our cattle bed down for the night. All right, so I got a few trucks to come haul some cattle here. So now we gotta get ready for them. I need to open up all these fences, make sure. Gotta shut this gate here. Shut that gate. Shut this gate. All right, I think we are just about ready. Don't know exactly when they'll come. Man, I guess I'm going to have to unload them here in this uh, grate here and then move them over because I, I don't have a semi uh, little ramp. So I only have this in a stationary. I guess I can probably just string a... Uh, electric fence over here and just move them in right there. That, that'll probably work. Uh, yeah. Now we just have to wait for them to show up. Hopefully they're on their way here. Guess uh, we'll just uh, stand by a little bit. Oh, waiting for my cattle here. Should be any moment. Looks like I got some straw down there and my birds are eating it or something. Shoot, shoot, get out of here, birds. Stupid little birds. Oh, I see the first one coming over. Yeah. That's the first semi. Oh, yep, there's the second semi coming around. So, got two. That one looks like it's a Peterbilt. The one probably in front. The, what was that? One in the back, Kenworth. Beautiful trucks there. See them pull around here. Oh yeah, made it down the driveway. What the heck's wrong with that one truck? Looks like that one truck may be stuck a little bit. Oh, there he got undone. Alright, so we'll uh, guide this guy here. Hold on, I can't run that fast. So, probably take you all the way over here. There we go. Man, a little bit crazy. I can't run that fast. Here's a second semi coming up. Whoo, he's going fast. Slow down, slow down, buddy. All right, so we got that semi unloaded. So now I got to see if I could back up this semi. So this is a young driver and said that he prefers if I try to back it up. We'll see. What is this semi? Baby blue? It's a little baby blue semi. Not too bad. You would think baby blue would look bad, but it actually looks pretty good, to be honest. Thing's pretty sharp. Wow, this thing's nice inside. So, this might be a challenge backing up to this thing. Uh, it's kind of a hard area because you got to really uh, figure out when to cut it and then cut it hard. Like that. Oh, 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 we missed it. Didn't cut it right. Oh, is that going to make it? Think. Think. Oh. Oh. Yep. 
we got it. There we go. So that ain't hard. See, that ain't hard. It only took me two tries, buddy. We'll get these unloaded and uh, try to get them uh, across here. All right, so now that's done. I just got to put up some little uh, electric fence right here, and we should be able to get them across here. All right, let's try to get these cattle over. Come on. Bass. Let's get it moving. Come on, get off the get off the hill. Move it. Move it. These cattle are tame. Man. They don't listen to me at all. All right, we got all the cattle over here. Uh oh, we already got one out. Come on. Come on, move into place. Back it up. Back it up. Them some weird colored horns you got there. You too. Where are you going? Oh, uh, whatever. But, got all the cattle in here, so now we just gotta make sure the water and everything works. But, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. Here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.